Hindustan Aeronautics has announced that the first ever series production standard Tejas trainer has carried out its first flight from Hal's airport in Bengaluru. The successful sortie of the twin-seat Tejas aircraft lasted for around 35 minutes. Hal is expected to deliver one Tejas trainer every month, and all 18 Tejas trainers will be delivered to the Indian Air Force by April 2024. MBDA Missile Systems has expressed interest in integrating the Meteor Long Range beyond Visual Range air-to-air -air missile on the Tejas Mark 1A, in order to expand the fighter types that can be equipped with the missile system. MBDA had previously turned down the Indian request to integrate the Meteor, due to the Israeli LM-2052 ASA radar that will be installed on the Tejas Mark 1A. The last batch of nearly 35 Tejas Mark 1A fighters will now be equipped with the indigenous Utam radar. The MBDA missile systems have agreed to integrate the Meteor missile, which has already been selected to be part of the weapons package for the Tejas Mark II fighter jet. The design of AMCA fifth generation stealth fighter jet has been frozen by the Aeronautical Development Agency, and the DRDO has now approached the Cabinet Committee on Security for approval and funding. Once the project's sanction is received, the first prototype powered by F-414 engine will be rolled out by 2026, and the first flight by end of 2027 or early 2028. Officials have said that the Tejas Mark II will complete air intake test certification in France in June this year, and as the air intake of Tejas Mark II is similar to Mark I variant, the DRDO is confident about bagging the certification and rolling out the first Tejas Mark II prototype by next year. The government has asked the DRDO to stick to project timelines and avoid delays in the name of first-time development. The Modi government is also pursuing the possibility of manufacturing Rafale fighters in India, and India will be cleared for Rafale export to third countries. Lockheed Martin and Boeing have begun work on the integration of the AGM 158C long range stealth anti ship air launched cruise missile into P 8A Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft and plans are to conclude flight testing and platform integration trials by 2025. The Indian Navy operates 12 p 8 aircraft, and it has been eyeing the 400 km range AGM 158C long-range anti-ship missile for its p 8 aircraft. The p 8 will be able to carry four missiles under its wing, and the Indian Navy has a potential requirement for 100 next-gen anti-ship cruise missiles. The emergency procurement powers were given to the Defence Forces in August 2022 for six months, to buy more equipment for strengthening their preparedness along the China border, and now after a high-level meeting, the Defence Ministry has again extended the emergency acquisition powers to the three Defence Forces by six months, in which they can conclude the projects for which tenders have already been issued, that includes 300 proposals for weapon systems spares and other equipment.